So I decided to compile yet again another top 10 video for Fallout 76. And within this one, we're gonna be covering some extremely rare items within the game that only spawn at specific locations. These items are a great addition for your display cases because of how rare they actually are. More than likely, you won't know about every single one of these items that I'll be showing within this video. And even if you've been playing for a long time, some of these will still be new to you. I know some of them are pretty new to me, and I've been playing for almost 2,000 freaking hours, as I mentioned in my previous video, because these items, once again, are extraordinarily rare. Like, some of these you can only find at these locations specifically, and some others that I cover in this only spawn at a few other areas. So, yeah, hopefully you learn something new from this. That is my goal, after all, over uploading this. And hey, maybe if you're new around here, consider giving my channel a chance and sticking around and subscribing for more genuine Fallout 76 content like this. Also, be sure to watch or maybe skip until the end if you start to get bored, because I do add a bonus extremely rare item in this one as well, for those of you that do make it till the end. So yeah, keep that in mind. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into these now. Enjoy. Okay, so for the first location with some of the rarest items in Fallout 76, will be right over here from Vault 76 in Morgantown. This uh, destination is actually an unmarked area. As you can see, this is what the building looks like. Some of you may be familiar with this building, but up inside here, there is some extremely rare loot. The first set of rare items that you may want to put on display in your camp will be located right back here in this room. As you can see, there's loads of Nuka-Cola souvenirs on this shelf, as well as a Nuka-Cola orange, Nuka-Cola wild, Nuka grape, Nuka cherry, and a regular old Nuka-Cola. There's also another little Nuka-Cola toy truck here, as well as a souvenir sloth toy. So, yeah, some pretty rare items in here. Anyways, next up inside this location, will be located upstairs. On this table here, you can find a chess set with a ton of unique little robotic uh, chess pieces. As you can see, we got a rook, we got a pawn, we got a king, we got a queen, and of course we got a bishop. Oh, and there's also a knight here too. I don't know exactly how many pieces are here total, but there's quite a bit that you can use. Pretty unique to add to your display shelf. It reminds me of the little models that we can get in real life. It's pretty cool. I wonder if one day Bethesda may add a chess game that we can play with one another in Fallout 76. That, I'm not gonna lie, would be pretty fun to do with your buddies. All right, so for the next location with some extremely rare items, we'll be located over here at the Emmett Mountain Disposal Site. Once here, you're gonna want to head on over to this building in the back. As you can see, it says Caution Hazardous Material on the top of the door there. But yeah, here's the uh, entrance to the building. Oh, goodness. There's a couple ghouls in here, too, so be warned of that. Anyway, so yeah, as you see, this is the entrance to the mountain disposal. Once inside, the first extremely rare item will be located right over here to our right. And then we're going to want to bust a left right here. And on the bottom of this shelf, you can find a prototype hazmat suit. It has the same stats, it gives you a thousand radiation resistance, and it has five weight. The difference is, however, as you can see, here is what the regular hazmat suit looks like, and here is what the prototype hazmat suit looks like. It's much more vibrant and cleaner. So yeah, definitely a unique hazmat suit to get your hands on. Anywho, now there's something else that I wanted to show you that's extremely rare inside this place. Keep in mind to have like power armor or a hazmat suit on just in case because there is tons of radiation down in this area. But yeah, just take the route that I'm taking currently and right back here, oh, another ghoul tag on it, right back here you can find some super mutant body parts. Check this out. Keep in mind, these do weigh quite a bit. I think they weigh like a pound each, which is pretty ridiculous, seeming how many there are. <laughs> but yeah, you can actually put these on your display case or shelf, depending on what exactly you're using. There's a thigh, arm, foot, hand, head. I mean, there's just everything. And also something else to keep in mind about these 
They show up in the miscellaneous category, not the junk. But yeah, here's what the super mutant head looks like. Disgusting. <laughs> um, here's what the lower left arm looks like. I mean, you get it. They're pretty bizarre looking. Now let's go ahead and head on over to the next location with unique items. So for the third location with some extremely rare items to collect for your display case, will be located over here at Morgantown Airport. The items will be located in this right here. These are actually one of my favorite junk items that you can get. They're really unique. As you can see, you can get some jarred, scorched body parts. It seems like a scientist or something was experimenting with the scorched here, and that's why they're in these jars. As you can see on this side over here, you can find a head in a jar in this fridge and I found another foot here and also if you unlock this you can have a temporary chance of finding another jarred scorched body part too. Aha! Yep. Found a hand down here. So I found a foot, a hand, a head and these can only be found at the moment anyways here. Oh here's another one. Nice. And also uh, let me go ahead and show you these up close and personal. They do weigh quite a bit once again they have a weight of one, so keep that in mind. That's pretty heavy for a junk item. And yeah, here they are up close and personal. Pretty crazy. Okay, so for the fourth location, we'll be located at the Landview Lighthouse. And believe it or not, this is actually a real location in West Virginia. It's pretty ironic. <laughs> but yeah, up inside this lighthouse here, we can find some lighthouse souvenirs. And these are also a great way to get copper, too. Like, you can break these down into copper. As you can see, uh, if I go up to it, yeah, they give you two copper each. Okay, so for this next extremely rare item from Vault 76, we'll be located right here on the map, next to the White Springs Resort. It'll be located in the Presidential Cottage, so we just gotta head up these flight of stairs here. And inside this building here, as you can see, is the Presidential Cottage. It states it on the sign outside of it. But uh, yeah, inside here, if you just bust the left immediately and go inside this room, you can find an undamaged American Trifold flag. Now, there's plenty of damaged American Trifold flags out there, but not many undamaged. These are extremely rare to find and a great addition to add to your display cases or shelves, once again, whatever you're using. So next location for some unique items from Vault 76 will be located at the Hornwright Estate right here. But before we go here, just in case some of you don't know how to access this building, you're going to want to head on over here to the Hornwright Summer Villa. And once you get over here, you just need to head downstairs into the basement and you can find an access key card, as you can see. And this will grant you access inside the estate. So yeah, now let's go ahead and head on over to Hornwright Estate. This is a ginormous building. <laughs> but yeah, we just want to take the access key card over to this ID card reader, and that'll grant us access into this elevator. And then we just head on up to the second level. Anyways, when you get up here, you just simply want to take this route, and we're going to be heading down these stairs here. And on our right, as you can see, we can find a snare drum. A really unique item to have in your display case. Also, there's a flute inside this room here in the shadow box. Once again, an extremely unique item. This is the only place where you can find these at. There's also some other instruments over here as well. Unfortunately, we can't place these in our display cases at the moment anyways because they are too large. But who knows what's in store for the future in Fallout 76 Wastelanders. Most of you probably haven't seen that flute. At least I'm assuming. And not to mention the snare drum either. Okay, so since we're on the subject over instruments that we can have in our display cases, I'm going to show you where this other one is at. And this one is also only located at this area. There's a trumpet here that we can get over at Tanagra Town. You just got to travel up these vines that lead to the top of this place. It is like a mini obstacle course, so watch your step. But yeah, once you get to the bus, this is where, as you can see, the trumpet will be on the floor here. Bada bing, bada boom. Pretty straightforward. And once again, the only trumpet in the game that I know of that you can pick up and put it in your display case. Alright, so the next location with some extremely rare items will be located at Helvetia. So once you arrive here, 
you just want to head over in this building called the honey house this also will have a lock on the door but it's really easy to break once in here if you look on the window frame here you can find some pretty unique items such as this house teapot and this bird decoration along with some other items as well and it's the same scenario on the other side too here's what these unique items look like by the way as you can see this is the bird decoration and here's the house teapot okay so for this ninth location you want to check out will be located right down here at fort defiance once here you're going to want to go through this hallway and at the end of it go up this flight of stairs and this flight of stairs and then go through this double doorway here and go to the end of this hallway and then you'll just want to make your way up this collapsed ceiling that conveniently takes us up to the third floor and then once you're up here you just want to go into this room on your left how do you see this room with a bunch of mattresses in it and right here on this shelf you can find a vault tech alarm clock <laughs> it's freaking awesome and also there's some other weird shenanigans going on in here <laughs> i don't know why there's so many flamingos here so lastly up on this list from vault 76 for some extremely unique items will be located over here at the robka research center keep in mind i will be showing a bonus item after this but yeah we're just going to want to head on inside the research center which we can gain access to this place right over here Alrighty, so once down here you just want to head through this doorway and right on this platform here, you can find a unique robot model. What makes this unique compared to all the other robot models is that it's mix matched. It has a Mr. Handy body on the lower half of it and a Sentry Bot body on the top half. Definitely a one of a kind robot model. There's also other models located all around in this facility, but they're not any different from those chess pieces that we picked up in the beginning. Their name is just different. For instance, there's like a Mr. Gutsy model, an iBot model, and a regular old Sentry Bot model around in this facility. So yeah, keep that in mind. However, if you do want those, feel free to search around in here for them. Okay, so for this bonus extremely rare item that I wanted to add within this list, will be located right down here at the Lost Home. Just make your way on inside this area. Be wary, there are some enemies around in this vicinity. But as you can see, in this doghouse here, you can find a souvenir teddy bear. Also a unique picture frame back there as well that I haven't seen in game anywhere else but here. But yeah, the souvenir teddy bear is different from all the other teddy bears. And the reason why is because, well, it looks like this. It's a pretty creepy teddy bear. And what's creepy about it is seems like there's blood stains on it and its mouth is stitched it definitely seems like it's been through some days honestly now that i look at this a little bit more it reminds me of a voodoo doll as well definitely a creepy item nonetheless but yeah i guess that's how wrapping up this video everyone hopefully you learned something new from within this i made sure to cover a ton of unique items to hopefully introduce some of you all to something new that was my goal. And by the way, if you found this enjoyable, it'd be greatly appreciated if you could take a little bit of your time and leave a like. The support is greatly appreciated. And hey, maybe if you're new around here, consider giving my channel a chance and sticking around subscribing. As always though, all of that is totally up to you. Until next time though, everyone, peace.